How do you start a bakery and make $288,000 a year? Hi, my name's Nate Jones. I run this channel. I make videos on entrepreneurship, businesses, and how to start businesses. And if you get value out of today's video, hit like and subscribe. So we're talking about bakeries. This is one of my favorite subjects because I love bakeries. Whenever me and my wife are traveling, we always stop at a mom and pop shop bakery and we get a couple different things and we get our sugar in because I love bakeries. We've had bakeries, we've visited bakeries across the entire world in Paris and London and all over the nation as well in the United States here. So we love bakeries and I've always thought, okay, how much does it cost? How much can you make running a bakery? You know, they're making cakes, cookies, pies, breads, maybe wedding cakes and just maybe special breads that people are usually picking up with every other day or, or things for other businesses. You know, there's so much potential in bakeries. So let's hop in here and let's talk through the expenses that are part of starting this business and then we're going to talk through how much revenue you can make average on your first year and then how much you can cash flow and bring home all right let's get into this so I was, I was doing some research for the equipment for the build out of your retail lease for the fixtures everything that you need the mixers everything it's going to be probably about a hundred thousand dollars all in now it could be less if you can find some used stuff or take over an existing bakery could be more if you get really state-of-the-art equipment in a big bakery but we're talking about a normal small retail location for a bakery so about a hundred thousand dollars is going to be enough for that. Um, you're going to have to put 25% down because it is going to be a commercial loan. So if you have a commercial loan, it's going to require that you put 25% down. So that's going to be $25,000. For a 10-year loan at about 10 to 11%, yes, interest rates are pretty high right now, that's going to be about 1000 a month that you're going to have to pay back um, just on your loan. We're going to have another $100 a month in insurance, another $200 a month in maintenance, electric, heating, and all that. And your average lease for a retail location that's pretty smaller is going to be about $1,500 a month, maybe $2,000 a month, but I put it at $1,500 uh, because they're going to usually require you to sign a three-year lease, and you can probably negotiate a good rate. Um, that would be a total of $3,000 a month in fixed expenses. I know that seems like a lot, but let's dive into uh, how much we can make in this business and let's talk through the cash flow. The average sales per day for a bakery nationally is about $1,000 a day. And I took out 40% of that as our expenses for our raw material, our sugar, our doughs, anything that goes into making the bread and the bakery products, okay? So that's about 600 a day in gross profit. $600 a day times six days, and I'm, I'm considering this as you as the owner is gonna be there every single day without any help at the beginning. Um, so we got $600 a day times six days a week, because let's say we take one day off, that's gonna be 3,600 a week, and that is 14,400 a month in that gross profit. So let's take out those fixed expenses of $3,000. Again, the fixed expenses are that $1,000 loan, $100 a month in insurance, $200 a month in maintenance, $1,500 a month for the lease. So 3,000 minus the 14,400 puts us at a net profit of 11,400 for the month. Not bad. That's our cash flow for the month. So 11,400 is what we're cash flowing every month. That's our profit that as the owner, you would want to probably take a portion of that and pay yourself. Um, and you can leave a portion of that for um, expenses that are just going to randomly come up. So that's going to put us at 136,000 a year in net profit. Pretty good business. Gross revenue is going to be 288,000. Okay. So again, we had to put that 25,000 down. So let's take that 136 subtracted by the 25,000 that's 111,000 net income that first year so pretty good first year income of $111,000 if we do hire some people part-time that is going to cut into that profitability so if you do hire somebody you're going to probably look around 80 to 85,000 in net profit that first year um, going into year two you're going to probably be able to net around 80 to 90 thousand um, again if you're hiring somebody which is still pretty good um, because you may not need somebody all day long maybe just in the morning most bakeries close around 2 p.m where i'm from so 
um, definitely a nice business where you can make a lot of uh, revenue in a quick period of time, close and go home, plan for the next day. Um, so if we're gonna start this business, what we need to do is we, and I suggest this for every person who's wanting to start a business, is that you think of all the ways in which it won't work. You need to tear down the business, be its biggest critic, so you can create strategies around making sure those things don't happen. Okay, so for this one, you get no customers. You get no customers because nobody knows that you started your business, so you didn't do a marketing launch, you didn't do a marketing program of telling people that about your new bakery and what you have to offer. Um, you maybe have a bad location, people don't know where you're at, so you need to get the word out there so people know to go try out your bakery so you can get customers in the door to make that thousand dollars a day okay so number two your food's horrible okay so you didn't do enough research or enough training in culinary school or taking a culinary class to get your baking standards up to a point where people are going to tell everybody hey you need to go to the bakery down the street they're new and they're great at what they do so make sure that you have high standards and what you're what you're producing in your bakery so people will continue to show up and buy your products. The third thing we need to do if we've created strategies around those things in which we think that can make us fail is we need to legal up our business. We need to create an LLC that's gonna be a completely separate entity from ourselves so if something happens, we're not, um, we're not, they're not able to come after our personal assets, okay? Number two, we need to buy the right insurance, make sure that we're covered in the event of a fire or some spoilage if the refrigerator goes out. So making sure that you have the right insurance is super important. I own an insurance agency, Wexford Insurance. If you want us to help you out with review of your policies, just reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. Um, number three, you need to find a way to scale this business by either adding another location or expanding into delivering your products to people locally. So the reason that I say this is because um, as a business owner, you want to continue to grow your business. If you're good at what you do and you have great products, you want to continue to scale it so you can continue to make more money. The reason you want to make more, more, more money is because if you stay small, one thing happens to you, you're out of business. But if you're a larger business, you can weather the storms. So the answer is for you to get bigger and scale your business. So you need to find a way to scale that by reinvesting that cash flow back into either another store or finding a way to deliver your products because if if you're relying on people to show up at your place of business, sometimes they won't. And if you can deliver it to them and still be profitable, then you can expand your horizon and make even more money. So um, if you're interested in starting this business, I would suggest that you commit and really think hard of doing it and not just think about it and talk about it, but actually do something because there's a million reasons not to start a business, but I'll give you one reason to start one right now, financial freedom and being your own boss. Commit to starting a business today. And if you got value out of this video, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.